Welcome back to my channel, you guys. And if you're new, I really hope that you will like my channel, like my content, content, and check out some other uh, side hustle videos that I've done for my channel. Um, as you guys know that I'm a big believer in if you want to make more money, then you got to stop complaining and pick up a side hustle, do it as much as you need to so that you can have your side hustle pay for your investments and your investments will then pay for you to quit your nine to five and then also to live the life of freedom that you always wanted. But it does start out with hard work. So let's get in to these side hustles that I have thought of for today. Today, let's think our sponsors though. So I have a new sponsor. Yay, snaps for me, you guys. I have a sponsor. So I am working with Anna Luisa and she sent me some jewelry and I'm thinking about giving some away for you guys. So she has like these beautiful, beautiful gold jewelry. I love gold as you guys can see. I'm either rose gold or gold, but she does have some beautiful um, silver pieces as well. So if you guys want to win one of these from me, then give me a follow and then also check out Anna Luisa's um, website. I will link it down below. I have this beautiful like simplest. I love either stacked necklaces or simple pendant necklaces which is why like I, you don't see like me wear too much of things. I kind of like a more simple gold look but I love this one that kind of looks like a sun and then this one has a U on it like a hoof shape hoof shape on it and this one is like a star as well but i'm really happy that she sent these to me they're so 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 pretty so if you guys like simple designs then i would definitely check it out this one is like a mini hook and this one is just a regular pendant this is stuff that i would wear around my stomach like if i have a bathing suit on i have something that kind of uh does the same type of design and then i can wear the matching matching necklace with it she sent me five pieces which was very very generous of her and you guys can check out her website as you can see the prices here um very good for some real jewelry i break out with jewelry from um from forever 21 if i wear it when i'm really hot and i sweat i will actually get like this is gross bumps around my neck that oh, it itches kind of feels like a heat rash so i really do enjoy spending just a little bit more money so that i can wear jewelry out to the beach to amusement parks and they don't break me out as well as i love giving them for gifts so i might actually give these away for a friend as well but i also want to do a giveaway for you guys so check it out they come in these really cool like packages i've never had jewelry that came in like a like a cloth package like this. I'm actually gonna like go ahead and put this one on. This is like really nice and sturdy. Go ahead and click the link down below. And I'm also gonna share these on my Instagram too so you guys can see some other close-ups. But please enjoy, let's get into the video. So the first side hustle that I have for you guys is being a delivery, a delivery driver for furniture or you can also put together furniture for people so i know like this is maybe like a no-brainer for you guys but there are actual people out there who get on apps or advertise on facebook or offer up that they actually do delivery services so we have food delivery so why not furniture delivery i went to ikea to go pick up some furniture when we first moved into this house and i actually had to use my fiance's big 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 truck because we couldn't obviously fit like a table <laughs> into my car like this table was the last table and I got the display of it so I needed help and if I didn't have someone with a big van car or truck I would have to have them deliver it for me Ikea or at home or anybody else who has a furniture spot that delivers for you but if you know Ikea one time they were gonna charge me 800 extra dollars to have something to delivered eight hundred dollars for something to be delivered to my house that was a no it was a really big piece and i just know i'd rather not have that piece if i got to pay an extra eight hundred dollars for it if you guys have a truck or you can have access to leasing a truck or to just renting a truck for the day you can do a 25 percent charge for delivery as well as maybe you can charge more to put that furniture together like ikea furniture it can be tricky trying to put together you can market anything for pickup market any furniture place for pickup go around and call different furniture places and see how much it is for them to deliver pieces to homes and then 
choose choose your prices based off of that if you need to so let's say ashley furniture it, it's like a 95 delivery charge that's included with your purchase then charge 85 dollars instead 80 dollars instead and you can market your services on offer up facebook craigslist you can run ads on facebook create your own website with Squarespace or Shopify and get your get yourself on Google promote my business on Google or Google my business and you should be getting a little bit more clicks on your profile because Google my business is the same thing as restaurants near me clothing stores near me um, how to start out is identify the product store or any type of delivery that's needed in your area like let's say you live in the boonies and the closest Ikea is two hours away that would be a perfect thing to advertise in your area because people want to go to Ikea and it's a two hour day drive you may have something there for you so identify what needs to be done in your area and that's the service for pickup that you would be offering Just get yourself started and get on google my business now you can buy lease or rent a truck as needed now you can find some trucks that are relatively big that are used for a really decent amount of money so don't rule out getting your own truck i don't have a truck i have a minivan that's okay you may be able to pick up a lot of stuff in your minivan you can also get yourself on task rabbit it's an app for people who offer their services on small things that other people don't want to do like you can task rabbit someone painting your house you can task rabbit someone um fixing your plumbing like get on task rabbit and see if it's a really big thing in your area because i guarantee you there are so many different ways to get your name out there you guys just have to get creative think outside the box and just do it blow up rentals are another one this was actually a business that i was thinking about doing when i was starting my vending machine business so you would pay for depending on how big it is 100 300 to a thousand dollars for a blow up water slide a blow up bounce house and you market those on facebook and you have people rent them people really be renting these things and they find them on facebook or they look up on google my business google is such a really big key to getting your business out there and most of the time you guys see these for birthdays but you can do this for weddings you get those white castle looking bounce houses and there's a lot of people who actually love to have fun weddings and rent things like that now i think it's more of a california thing i don't really see it here in virginia but i don't know everybody in virginia so you may live in an area maybe texas florida colorado um california they just seem like those places that it would do super super well in but by all means don't let me discourage you if you're like in minnesota <laughs> like look in the business to see is there anybody else doing what doing this idea and if not can you do it i would do the market research if i were you guys and you can also get your business into newspapers you can ask for someone to talk about your business in a newspaper um look up online um, newspapers look up online sources that will promote you in your state you would not believe how much eyes that you get when you are on the local news local um, newspaper local newspaper are always trying to find people that they can talk about there are so many niche avenues that you guys could go down to make money now am i saying that this is going to make a whole lot of money and you're going to become overnight rich no but it is a side hustle that if you stay consistent at it and you know your market this is something that you guys can do another one and one of my favorite that i actually recommend to some people is becoming a junk pickup person i was actually watching this youtube person and he's very well known and we've talked a few times but he owns a mobile home and he actually pays a local junk guy to come in his pickup truck and pick up all the junk that um normal trash men will not pick up from the city when i was moving out of my house that i lived with my parents we were getting rid of everything and i put bed frames mattresses tables and chairs outside because i thought one people usually scavenge through there to get those and to resell them but also to throw them away and 
Unfortunately, the city pickup trucks, they don't pick up that stuff. You actually have to call someone to come get that and it's actually pretty expensive. So what kind of truck would you need? I would say if you're just starting out and you have a pickup truck, do that. But as in more and more that you grow or you see a need, you can get these big dumpster trucks or you can get um, just a like a pulley trailer behind your truck they cost like five thousand dollars hook it onto the back of your truck and you go out there and you pick that trash up make sure you have a really big advertisement sign on your truck so that every time you go somewhere people know that that is what you do that is what you specialize in and again you have to get on google my business because when i type in junk pickup trucks near me many 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 businesses well not many Businesses pop up and they have really good reviews. People are using their service. I literally saw a junk pickup truck like two weeks ago in my neighborhood picking up someone's junk and they had a really nice truck, really big advertisement on their truck and I was like, that is a great idea. Super good idea. Even if you start out small, it is okay. We all start from somewhere. Just because you see someone who is more established than you with a bigger truck does not mean that you can be counted out you can make your way into a business like that. Junk pickup sounds very cheap to get into, a very cheap startup if you already have a truck. But you can get a hitch put onto the back of your car and roll around with stuff. You just have to be creative. Just because something is difficult does not mean it's not possible. And I don't really think being a junk pickup person is impossible. This is one that I talked about in how I saved $30,000 and it is Donate Plasma. You guys, if you want a low, it doesn't even cost money to do it. If you want quick, easy money, donate plasma. You don't have to do anything but sit in a chair and get your blood pumped out and the plasma taken out and then your blood pumped in. Now there are certain things, depending on your body type, that you can't do to donate plasma. Like you can't be under a certain weight. You can't be under a certain weight and a certain height because you know, different bodies react to so much blood being taken out of your body. And that's what happened to me my last few times is I am no longer or I was no longer allowed to donate plasma in that time of my life because I guess I had lost too much weight and my body could not handle all of the blood leaving my body and I almost passed out. However, before that happened, your first initial payment for plasma, depending on your area, could be like $150 for your first donation. And then it's like $25 or $50, depending on where you live, every time you go donate plasma. I forget, it's been a long time. You can either donate plasma once a month, I'm sorry, once a week or twice a week. Super good money. Super good side money, okay? It does take about an hour to do, maybe less. It's been a while, but that was one way that I actually saved enough money to go on vacation. I only did it when I was like in high school or when I had just graduated high school because I wanted to go on vacation. It was a cruise and my grocery store job just won't doing it fast enough for me. So I was doing that and donating, donating plasma. I used to be very insecure about it, very embarrassed about it. But like I said in my other video, there's nothing to be embarrassed about if it's going to get you money and you are not going to, you know, throw away your morals doing it. But then again, if you got to do what you got to do, I'm not going to tell you not to do something. I'm gonna tell you to be smart about it. But this is, you know, one of the good ways that you can make, you know, a quick buck here and there. So donating plasma, mm -hmm. it's easy. Go out and do it. You need some money, you need some food, go donate plasma. And the last one I think is the huge, huge money grabber is being an at-home daycare center. Now, I'm not saying you have to be like this complete professional daycare center. You could just literally be a babysitter. A babysitter that people trust. Now, if you have some type of skill that you can teach these kids, maybe you know Spanish. Maybe you know how to code. Maybe you know how to teach kids. I don't know. Whatever skill you can tap on to being a babysitter that will make you a little bit more um, desirable to parents, market it. You could be like, I am a Spanish-speaking, English-speaking daycare at home provider. I will teach your kids Spanish while they're here with me and let your kids learn a second language. They are five times more likely to get hired if they are bilingual. Like, you know, sell your services if you have some type of trait that you can teach kids if a parent teaches or chooses you to have your have their kids stay with you. 
Now, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like kids. I don't want that responsibility. That's okay. Me, if I needed the money, I would do whatever it takes. And if I got to take in five kids, I was going to say snotty nose kids, but if I got to take in five kids, $100 a piece to make some money, I'm going to do it. It doesn't even need to be five, like $100 a piece. Your average daycare is going to cost you about $650, if not more, a week for childcare. If you can undercut those childcare services and have those kids come to your house where you have baby proofed everything, toddler proofed everything, no going upstairs, you have them go outside, get some exercise, you teach them a skill like Spanish or Japanese, whatever you know, you feed them and you take care of them until their parents come pick them up from work and you cut the cost doing that for them, I think you guys can grow a really good daycare center quicker than you think. Now, there may be a little bit of licensing that you may need to do because you're taking care of people's kids. However, if you're in an area that it's really needed or it's low income and you're trustworthy, a lot of people will look past the license. I'm not saying do anything illegal, but I know my daycare center when I was a kid didn't have no licenses. <laughs> Sometimes Aunt Joanna down the street was watching us and sometimes next door Nelly was watching us for some money. So you do what you got to do. You can look into doing it the 100% correct way to make sure that you are accredited. But if you just need to be considered a babysitter so that you can get around some of the really, really difficult, expensive laws, then do that. I'm pretty sure if you really look into it, there are some things that you can maneuver around that can help you do this with you know within the realms of safety so daycare centers very very lucrative i had at home babysitters all the time like i went to my next door neighbor's houses all the time and if they can do it you can do it so that was five ways that you can make money as a side hustle all of these range in different money that you can get but a lot of them you can scale up donating plasma you can't scale up because you only have one body you can't scale up, scale that up but everything else you can pretty much scale up even the jump houses you can start at getting the $100 jump house or get the $1,000 jump house you can scale all of those up. So I really hope that this was helpful. Let me know down below, do you guys have any other side hustle ideas? Have you tried any of these? Um, do you know anybody making money from any of these? I really do love hearing from you guys down below. So leave a comment. Also, if you wanna follow along on my monthly goals that I set for myself, then you can follow me on Instagram where I hold myself accountable and I hold you guys accountable in my comment section for all of the monthly goals that I set and I expect you guys to set them with me. Also, if you guys want to talk to me about other side hustles, making money, doing what I do, because you guys know I do Airbnb, I do um, campgrounds, I do tiny houses, vending, YouTube, anything you guys want me to help you out with and you need like a mentor who can push you and hold you accountable, check out my mentoring sessions on my website. I will put them up here for you guys, read the reviews, and let's book a session together. You guys can get 10% off using my code. We have holidays coming up, so they start at $39 dollars and go up for really obtainable gold jewelry oh so cute i will talk to you guys later hope you enjoy bye